Welcome at this beautiful sunny day in the nursery. Today we're going to take a look at some nice flowering trees, such as Cercis, Halesia and Polonia. So let's go into the nursery. Standing here as a plot with some Halesia monticola. And uh, Halesia monticola stands for mountain silver bell. Uh, it can also grow quite uh, high in the mountains, up to 1000 meters, and that is in the southeastern part uh, of the United States. The tree is uh, covered in uh, silver uh, white uh, bells uh, in the springtime, so it's uh, at the end of April and the beginning of May uh, when they start uh, flowering normally. Um, it's uh, quite a large tree, 15 to 20 meter in height uh, when it gets uh, mature. It takes a long while because it doesn't grow uh, that fast. Um, and also when it gets more mature, the tree flakes off um, uh, at the trunk. So you get uh, gray flakes all around the trunk. Very nice ornamental tree for a large park or in a big garden. Do you think this is an interesting vlog? Then press the like button. This is Circus Canadensis and also called in English North American Red Bud. Um, as you can see, it's flowering at the moment uh, and the flowers always appear before the leaves uh, appear. You can also see the leaves appearing now, so the flower is going to stop uh, quite soon now. Uh, it's both uh, used as a single stem, but also as a large uh, multi stem. It gets uh, up to six to eight meters high and wide uh, when it gets mature. So it's also uh, possible to use it in a smaller uh, garden. Um, the roots go quite deep and they grow both on calcareous soils as also on uh, sandy uh, soil. It's a very nice ornamental tree, Cercis uh, canadensis. Here we have a plot with Polonia tomentosa. Polonia tomentosa is flowering at the moment with uh, bluish uh, purple uh, flowers. Uh, in a couple of weeks those flowers uh, will disappear and then only the leaves uh, which are as big as an elephant ear uh, will last. Please realize that Polonia is a big tree, it can easily get uh, 10 to 15 meters in height and it needs a lot of space. I'm walking here in a row with a quite unknown sorbus um, variety called sorbus incana. And uh, sorbus incana is covered in pale white flowers uh, in the springtime and the leaves uh, is a bit in between that of Sorbus area and Sorbus terminalis. Uh, like I said, it's quite uh, unknown, but uh, it comes from Sweden originally, so it's uh, very winter hardy. And also the crown stays very pyramidal. It gets up to uh, eight to nine meters uh, in height finally. And it's a well uh, usable uh, tree, Sorbus in Canada. We're looking here at uh, Sidonia oblonga, or in English, common quint. Uh, it's outstanding uh, through its uh, pinkish white flower, pinkish in the bud and uh, white uh, when it opens up. And also the leaf is uh, covered in a very soft uh, silk-like uh, product when it, uh, it's developing. Uh, the tree uh, doesn't get too big, it gets about uh, six to eight meters in height but it gets a quite large crown. So uh, you need some space like in a fruit uh, orchard uh, like here. Uh, it's uh, used very long because uh, those flowers turn into uh, big yellow fruits and uh, you can uh, steam them uh, in, in autumn uh, in a pan, otherwise you cannot eat them. And they also have a nice odor uh, on them when you uh, pick them. Uh, very nice ornamental tree in a fruit orchard or in a smaller garden, Cydonia oblonga. We're looking at Staphylia colchica, or in English colchis bladder nut. Uh, those white flowers turn into uh, bladder-like uh, fruits uh, filled with the nut. Uh, later in the autumn uh, they will show up. Uh, it's more like a multi-stem shrub than a tree uh, actually. It can grow up to three to five meters and it originates uh, from the Caucasus. Very nice ornamental shrub, Staphylia colchica. This is a uh, Japanese uh, cornus. It's one that's called Cornus causa rubra. Uh, not to be confused with Cornus florida rubra because this one has quite uh, yellow pale uh, flowers. Uh, actually, these are not flowers, but they look a lot uh, like them. Uh, it gets uh, a 
quite wide uh, and high shrub, up to uh, four to uh, eight meters in height and also in uh, spread. Very nice uh, early flowering one. Uh, can be used in big gardens, in parks, everywhere. Cornus causa rubra. This is Davidia involucrata. It's also called handkerchief tree and also dwarf tree. And this is because of the white flowers that you can see in the top uh, of the tree. We're very lucky because they don't flower every uh, single year. Um, usually this tree uh, grows as a shrub, so it's quite extraordinary that we have it here as a high stemmed uh, single stem tree. Uh, it originates from Western uh, China. Um, so it, it performs well in our climate, but it needs a quite a sheltered uh, standing place. And otherwise it doesn't come into flower either. And it doesn't like late night frost in the spring uh, either. Um, it gets about uh, 10 to 12 meters uh, high in our climate, which is quite high for such a tree. Nice in a small garden, in a sheltered place, as I said, Davidia involucrata. Thanks for watching our vlog. Hopefully, we'll see you next time.